So guys, Submission Underground, it's going to be this Sunday, 6 o'clock Eastern only on UFC Fight Pass. So let me back up, okay? Because we held a tournament a month ago. Now, we had to hold a tournament because we've got a guy who's dangerous. His name is Mason Fowler. He's the champion. He took out Craig Jones, who is dangerous. So apparently Mason Fowler is more dangerous than the very dangerous Craig Jones. I only bring that to you because who are you going to put against him, right? For a while, anybody. Let's try it out. Anybody that sees him and thinks that they can beat him, they've probably got a good understanding of their own abilities, and you can start from there. Now, that's going to work for a certain period of time, but the rules of Submission Underground, the unified rules of grappling, are very vicious. It's a very family-friendly friendly event, and it seems to kind of be brushed off. You're only allowed to do two things. Strangle and break bones. That's it. That is the only two things that you are encouraged to do. It's vicious. I tell you that because there's a responsibility before you stick somebody in there with Mason. Now, Mason got in there because we had the same responsibility before we put somebody in there with Craig. So we held an eight man tournament. Mason came through it. Okay, now we know for sure this guy can protect himself. Mason is now in the same spot. You've got to have a responsibility before you stick somebody in there with him. We hold the tournament. Put up some prize money. The money had nothing to do with it. Who wants the shot? Who thinks they can beat everybody else that says they should be the guy who can prove they're the guy and wants Mason? All right. A bunch of killers show up. I mean, this tournament ends up being loaded. We get down to the finals. We got Kyle Bame, and he's going to take on Pedro Moreno. So it turns into a great match. It goes out of regulation. They're into the overtimes. Kyle on anybody's back isn't going to be a good day. He is a master of this position. Kyle Bame, back control, maybe the best, best person I've ever seen in my life in back control. He, for sure, a top five. He might be the best ever. Kyle gets back, gets the submission, beats Pedro. Okay. We answer the question. Kyle's the number one contender, but now we found out who's the number two ranked guy. It's going to be Pedro. Pedro's going to have to wait his term. It's going to be Kyle versus Mason, right? Just like I told you. Well, Mason ends up getting injured. I leave it at that. I don't want to disclose his injury. That's his business. But he ends up getting injured, so we got to push that match. So we could bring Kyle in. But it was one of these things where Kyle's earned this. Kyle deserves to have his choice. Do you want to come out and keep the, the date? Or would you like to wait for the opportunity specifically against Mason, specifically in a main event, specifically for the championship? Which, by the way, comes with a little bit better incentive. Kyle said, I want to wait. Okay. I got to see this Pedro guy again. This, this turns personal, right? I got to see this guy. He made one heck of a fan out of me. Ran into Jimenez somewhere along the way. Turns out he and Jimenez have been, have been trading victories back and forth. They've done like eight matches or something. I didn't know about this. Guy's really good. We got another guy, Andy Barella. Now, I trust that you guys, Andy Barella is a bit of a household name in the world of Submission Underground. And Barella is a straight badass who's beaten everybody, including Ishii, who's the Olympic champion. He only ran into problems with Mason, and he's trying to get back to Mason. Oh, and by the way, he gave Mason problems. I mean, it was a different match. Varela is freaking good. One thing about Varela, he is only there to compete. He does not show up for any other reason. He'll say hi and hello. He's a real polite guy. He'll grab himself something to eat like everybody else, but he is there for business, period, to win, period. I mean, he, the, everything that you ever want in an athlete, no BS. This is about competition. Do you want to compete? With Varela, I will tell you for sure the answer is yes. That's all he wants. He just wants matches. So it's going to be Varela, number one contender, former number one contender, okay, championship opponent, versus Pedro, who was a tournament finalist. So you have two silver medalists. Getting two silver medalists together, they're going to be in the main event. Whole card stacked. We're going to bring you tag team. We're, we're going to have an absolute blast. I just want to set up this main event. I wanted to let you guys know, because I've been people keep asking me, what happened with Mason? What happened with Kyle? That match is 100% preserved, just looking for a future date. 
The dates are set throughout the year. It isn't booked yet because we're waiting to hear from Mason. So we'll be going every single month. That match is still coming. But this Sunday, you have something special to look forward to. You have two guys that made it to the absolute final spot. Didn't get what they want, and now they're going to collide this Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern only on UFC Fight Pass.